Now we're on our way up to Bluff Mountain. Start off this climb or this hike with a 400 foot climb. We've got a bone pile, firebird, and this is Tall Paul. We're up here on the Bluff Mountain Trail uh, in Dotton Park, uh, out for a little uh, spring hike here. So beautiful views. The parkway is sometimes closed, so it's nice. There's not a lot of people out here. So we'll catch up to you later. We've got Chuck and his ultralight kit today. What do you got there? What are you, like a super ultralight, three pounds? That's my lunch and water. <laughs> he fits through, look. Me. Me. They say you're above it. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you loaded me your legs, I wouldn't have had a problem. <laughs> That's how you get through. All our, all our good views are going to be into the sun. Here we are looking back on the uh, trail that came up from over there. This is the Bluff Mountain. A lot of views. Beautiful scenery. There goes Tall Paul. We're going by the uh, coffee shop, which is closed. Stop for a little uh, lunch break here at the Vinegar Cabin. Nice views up from here. Nice. I never used it since I was. Right. Right. Lee brought the band. I'm trying to figure out why they would. Why would you bring a hammer and then why would you put nails in the tree? Well, if you're wondering how Chuck has had his ultralight, or bone piles had his ultralight pack all this time, about eight miles into our hike, we left the car. Now we're heading up the uh, grassy gap road to our campsite. A nice creek that follows you the whole way up. There you got it. I got the uh, Superfly and the Light Owl. Firebirds got the new Ridge Runner. Well, a Ridge Runner. Mr. Bone Pile. The XLC. It's a platypus four-liter reservoir. I gotta look and see if they just sell the bags. They don't. You don't think? Well, you know, I don't think they did. Kind of like that setup, and then you got the long, you got the long Ronde two, heading up a grassy gap trail, which is an old roadbed, and we're making our way back to the uh, 
Blue Ridge Parkway. We got a couple thousand feet to gain back that we dropped yesterday. Actually, I think we got in the maybe low 70s. Uh, got on to 32 last night. Plus we had all the gear. We were expecting it to be cold. We weren't expecting it to be that warm yesterday. So, uh, anyways, back up to the views here in a little bit. Enjoying the beautiful, beautiful day. Try to navigate this tree. Boots still waterproof. Maybe take a little break here and uh, switch out the shorts. So all you folks in Minnesota that are still got your snowblowers out, you might be jealous of this North Carolina weather. We're about uh, two miles up from the uh, camping area came across another uh, creek here so you come up this trail the nice thing to know is two miles you don't have to carry that water if you don't want to of course we're uh, pretty well loaded so we've been carrying it but hey lesson learned <laughs> another creek crossing we're getting firebird filming here I'm filming firebird filming bone pile <laughs> oh, <that's right>. <laughs> <laughs> nice little bridge out on Grassy Gap Road. Now we're getting to the top of Grassy Gap where it pops out on the Blue Ridge. Still a little bit of snow up here. Although that probably won't last long in the 70 degree days. Got a little bit more hike to do of some views. We'll call it a day, but it's been beautiful. We've made it to the Bluff Mountain Trail, which is also part of the MST. Well, I, when I first met Bone Pile, I think that was at Uari, right at the at the Probably hang. The first hang. And and I went back and told my wife, you know, I met this guy Bone Pile, and I think she thought like Stephen King, like a pile of bones, you know, he's got in the backyard or something. So I said, no, I don't think so. So Bone Pile, how'd you get your trail name? So, well, what happened when I was attempting a through hike in 2001, and I got to Fontana Dam, and they got a nice uh, place to stay there and restaurant, and I I took a zero day maybe a zero and a half day and ate a whole rack of 13 ribs <laughs> and when I was through there was a pile of bones and everybody said that's your trail name bone pile bone there pile. you go <laughs> and firebird how about you well uh, I just explained to, to Paul that I can I can tell where the name came from very briefly and but as to the reasons for choosing it uh, might take a bottle of good bourbon and a couple of campfire chats to get through. But in the 60s, I flew with a helicopter gunship platoon, and our call sign was Firebirds. And um, it's just kind of stuck with me why I chose to use it. It's a whole different ball yeah. game, but um, that's where it came from. Excellent. You guys like the trail? This Very good. Nice loop. Great trail and great weather. Good, yeah. Good all that's around. Gotta love it. Warm temperature, not a lot of snow to slog through. It's all all melted pretty much. Just miss uh, Natalie. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she's entertaining. <laughs> all right, well, thanks, guys.
This is a bluff mountain, bluff mountain up there, and alligator overlook. Fantastic, fantastic trip, fantastic company. Gotta get in tight, though. Okay. Oh, wait.